All right. Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for once, once again, for another mildly awful review. Uh, so today we are looking at the Force Impulse Gundam Real Grade. Uh, now this one I have had in my backlog for a couple of months now. Uh, I have been meaning to do it, but I wanted to get the perfect grade from last week out of the way first. Uh, so once again, another strike kit. This is what the third or fourth seed kit in a row, I think. I may be slightly obsessed with that, <laughs> that particular show. Uh, so let's pop this open, see what we've got. So we've got obviously the standard book, which is an actual book with these real grades, not the little pamphlet that you get with a high grade. Uh, and then we've got, first off, uh, looks like our A runner with the uh, with the beam sabers and some sticker decals, not water slide decals, sticker decals, which personal preference, sticker decals. I'm terrible at putting on water slide decals, so I much prefer it when they give me the stickers. Uh, and I kind of like the dry rubs, but they're not quite as good. So in here we've got two E runners, and we have the F2 runner, uh, which looks like it is part of like the striker pack. Yep. Uh, and here we have the G1 and the F1 runner, which is the rest of the striker pack and uh, some other bits and pieces. This looks like it's all primarily chest armor. And then uh, further in, some black runners. So we've got a, a B runner here, and we've got the H runner as well. And going a little bit further in, we've got two more runners. We've got the C2 and the D2, or yeah, D2 runner. Uh, now looking at this, uh, there's no poly caps in this build. Uh, looks like it's uh, utilizing the uh, the uh, system from the new Gundam and uh, above, uh, the, the newer real grade systems, uh, which is very, very nice because I much prefer their system of joints and mechanics. Uh, it's a much easier to, to work with uh, and it's, uh, it, it's much stronger as well. So it lasts that extra bit longer. Now here we have the final two runners. We've got the... Uh, Real grade. Where is the lettering on this one? Oh, uh, there it is. C1. And I'm guessing this is. Um, it doesn't seem to have the lettering on it, which is a bit weird. I'm sure I'll come across it. Yeah, these are. This is the last of them. Uh, oh, it's probably the D1 runner actually. I just can't seem to see where the lettering is, but that's fine. Uh, so this will be the D1 runner with the C1 on the other side. Now these runners are actually marked as Force Impulse Gundam uh, 2020, uh, which is really cool. So this is a, a, a as new as it can get, really. Uh, there's, there's only kits that have obviously been re released uh, more recently that are, that are newer than this. So the technology in this is about as new as it's going to get uh, with a lot of these parts which is super cool because that makes it a really unique build and I'm really looking forward to it. So let's jump into the build and I'll talk a bit more about my thoughts and opinions on it uh, at the end. So I'll see you there.
All right, welcome back. Thank you very much for sticking with me this long. I will uh, quickly put in here, uh, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff uh, so that uh, this channel grows and I am compelled to continue doing this content. Um, but jumping into the review itself, this is the Real Great Force Impulse Gundam. Really, really cool little kit. Um, lots of fun to build. The gimmicks in it are super interesting. Like the shield, which expands out or shrinks down, depending on how you format it. Uh, the, the backpack is a really cool uh, change. But also the fact that it's um, segmentable or compartmentalized kind of thing. Uh, so first off, we'll take the backpack off. So this is actually quite firmly in there, which is a probably quite a good thing overall for this for this build. So let's see if I can wiggle this off. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. There we go. Last part. Last long. So it's just these two pegs. They fit really, really firmly into the backpack here uh, so that it's quite hard to actually get it to come off. Uh, then you pull the chest up. Oh, come here, don't want to pull the legs off, chest up and off, and then there is this tiny little clip just in here. Uh, there we go, this little red part just in the just in the top here. So you, you can flip this up, flip this out by doing that, and out comes core splendor, and then you've got the legs. So you can have the core splendor by itself, which is just a little little pilot ship, it's got some points on the bottom of the unit itself for uh, some landing gears and things like that, which I have packed away in my little packet because this guy's going to be staying inside the mobile suit at all times. He's too small to be having out and about, unfortunately. Come on, focus on him, please. Thank you. And uh, once you've taken the course blender out, you can, of course, put the whole thing back together quite easily. It's quite firm um, when the core splendor's out of it as well. And there he is. You've, you've got the whole package back out again. So you, you've got quite a lot of flexibility with this kit. You could quite easily just have the mobile suit standing by itself with its backpack on and everything. Core splendor up on a stand. You could split it up. You've got the uh, force silhouette, which is, the, of course, the transport mode for different parts for the backpack and stuff I believe uh, and you've got a few other things that come along with this kit uh, so we'll jump into some extras so first off obviously you've got your beam sabers so these are just these standard little pink beam sabers uh, pretty straightforward and, and boring uh, you've got the big old sticker sheet which is very typical atypical for a uh, real grade with the foil stickers and things I haven't bothered putting any of those on uh, I think I put a couple of the foil stickers on, but otherwise I did the eyes and the cameras and that's about it. Uh, I couldn't be bothered with the tiny fiddly little parts that uh, are the normal stickers. And then of course the hands. So I'm not going to pull them all out, um, but I've got a uh, rather dynamic uh, spread out hand on the shield side here. And then we've got a, um, a proper gripping hand here with, with a little peg in the palm. So please focus on... There. So you've got a little peg in the palm there uh, to hold on to the rifle quite firmly. So all in all, he's a really solid build. Uh, the only problem I've had with him so far is when, there's, uh, when the silhouette booster pack is on, it does make it really back heavy and he falls over quite easily. But if you spread his legs out and you get him kind of leaning forward a little bit, he, he stands there pretty pretty well um, but if you have a spare action base chuck him on that he'll look awesome uh, so that's a really cool thing now the other thing I don't know where it's gone there it is so the other thing is of course this thing comes with the worst person in the Gundam Seed series and that's saying something for Gundam Seed the Shin Asuka figure so this guy can uh, go away don't like him um, don't like him at all he's probably my least favorite Gundam pilot ever and uh, I've watched Zeta so <laughs> saying something um, but this this kit is awesome I'd much prefer to think of it as the Luna Maria Hawk piloted version of the uh, Force Impulse Gundam uh, and I've got the Destiny somewhere to back it up so that that's kind of fine uh, but yeah I, I really enjoy this kit uh, and when it comes to real grades this is easily one of the best ones that I've built uh, I probably actually would prefer 
this overall finished product over the new Gundam and the new Gundam was a really really cool build um, for the real grade so this one easily gets a master tier uh, for the real grade series uh, which is quite a high ranking from me uh, and yeah I absolutely love it if you don't already have this I do strongly recommend it it came out this year so it is quite a new kit as well so it might be a little bit harder to find on the shelves but it's 100% worth getting your hands on and adding to your collection especially since uh, other force impulses probably don't stand up to the to the level of quality and detail that comes with this particular real grade so I do strongly recommend uh, giving it a shot and, uh, and picking it up for yourself. Uh, otherwise, that's it for the review. I'm going to leave it there. Keep this whole thing nice and sweet and short for once. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll see you next week for uh, the, uh, the Freedom. I, I'm pretty sure I'm doing just a Master Grey Freedom Gundam next week. So uh, look forward to that, and I'll see you then.